Hello guys. Welcome again in CS Core and Network Fundamentals course. We learned in the previous lecture that all mobile operators nowadays uses the horizontal network architecture, where any network consists of connectivity layer, control layer, and finally application layer. Each layer is independent than the other layers, and that allows the mobile operators to do many functions at the same time, like voice calls, data sessions, calling PSTN, and so on. Also, we have learned that the core of any mobile operator can be CS circuit switching core or PS packet switching core, or even EPC, which is the core in 4G. So, what we will focus on in our course is the CS circuit switching core. Let's start our lecture. Quick brief about circuit switching core network. Upon completion of this lecture, you will be able to understand that MSCS is the main node in circuit switching core networks. The term core network is typically used to describe the core components of the control and connectivity layer. In general, we can say that the function of core layer is to provide all the central processing and management for the system. It is also considered as the entity that interfaces to external networks, including the public phone network and other cellular telecommunications networks. The core network in the CS domain consists of the same three layers we talked before about, connectivity layer, control layer, and finally application layer. In the CS core, I want you to understand that the term CS means circuit switching, as I will be repeating this term many times. So, in the CS core there exists nodes which handles the signaling plane, and other nodes which handles the user plane. Mainly the connectivity layer nodes, carries the user plane traffic, while control and application layer nodes carry signaling plane data. The main key nodes in the control plane, is the MSC server, and HLR home location register. Both of them together allows the subscribers to do the needed voice calls, and store subscriber data. However, the key nodes in the connectivity layer is the media gateway MGW. Its function is to carry user data traffic internally inside the network or externally to external networks. Finally, the key nodes in the application layer is some nodes for charging and also we have the EIR for handset authentication and FNR flexible number register. If you made a look at this picture from the left, you will find external networks, called TDM networks like PSTN, is connected to MSC servers for signaling and control purposes. And connected to media gateway for user plane purposes. That means if there is a connection with external networks, the signaling messages transfer will be done via MSC server and the TDM network itself. While the user plane traffic transfer will be done via the connection between Media Gateway and TDM Network also. That's for the connection with external networks. Let's see the scenario if a user needs to make a call to other user. The user will send his control messages. The control messages here is the call setup procedures that needs to be done before the call. So these messages will be sent via node B then to RNC, then to MSC server going to the other MSC which have the other subscriber that the user is calling, and then from this MSC to RNC to node B. At the same time there is control messages going from the MSC server to the media gateway, to ask the media gateway to provide resources to carry the user data traffic. Once the media gateway allocate resources, the user plane traffic will begin transferring from user to node B to RNC to media gateway, then to the media gateway of the other user, then to RNC, then to node B, till reaching the other user. This is the high-level scenario for a call passing by the CS core network. Finally, I don't want you to worry, as we will discuss all of this and the functions of all these nodes in details in the next chapters. That was just a quick brief about the CS core network. See you in the next lecture.